Let's look at the count if and sum if functions. They are really handy if you're trying to retrieve specific information from a, a large set of data. So in the first example, and I'm in the first sheet, number one, count if, I want to find out how many people, the number of people who work in the sales department. So I want to count how many times I see sales in column B. So what I'm going to do is I want to return my answer into cell D4. So I'll uh, click on D4 and then I want to go to formulas, insert function, find count if, and then we've got two things we have to do. Both are in bold, which means we have to put something in each of these boxes. The first thing is the range. What is the range? Well, we're going to look from B3 down to B16. We're in this list of information is where we're going to return the number of people who work in the sales department. And the criteria in this example is the word sales. Only count if you see the word sales in the cell. Essentially that's what we're doing. Click on OK and you'll see that there's seven people, which is correct, who work in the sales department. Now, if you wanted to count not just the sales department, but count the number of people in the other departments, we can do that again by using the count if with a slight difference. So into insert function, we're into count if, the range is still the same, this is the list we're looking through, that's fine. However, this time I want to actually fix B3 and B16 into place because I'm going to be copying down into rows at 4 and 5 in a moment. So let's just press F4 or it might be function F4 depending on what machine you're using. And the criteria, instead of typing in the word sales, I'm going to click actually on D3 the word that is the word finance is in that cell and I want it to go down to D4 HR then D5 sales so there's the range there's the criteria I can see the number four has been returned and looking at my list I can see actually finance does appear four times so we're doing the right thing here click on OK and then what I can do is I can copy that down and it returns 3 in HR and 7, which we know is true in sales. And if we look at the formula, you'll see, for example, in HR returned 3. It has fixed the B3 to B16. It's gone back to the B3 to B16. It's jumped down to D4 to return the count value. And again, for the sales, you'll see um, it's fixed the range. But it's jumped down to D5. So that is how you can use count if if there's a few things you want um, information on. Now on the third sheet count if this time we are counting how many sales are less than 20,000. We're not looking for the value of sales at this stage that's some if that comes later just how many have fallen below 20,000. So into insert function count if click on OK. This time the range is C3 down to C16. I don't need to dollar sign it. I'm only looking for one thing. We're not copying anything down, so I don't have to dollar sign it. Criteria in this example is less than 20,000. We don't need pound signs. We don't need commas. Just the number 20, 000. Click on OK and it is telling me that three amounts are less than 20,000. Moving on now to sheet number four, let's now think about how we can use the sum if, where we want to total information for a specific criteria. In this example, we're not counting, we're summing the total amount for the North region. I'm going to click in cell E4, into insert function, this time sum if, and you'll notice here we've got the range the same, criteria the same in bold, then we have some range as a third option, not in bold. That actually tells you that you don't always need to use this, but you do need a range and you do need criteria. So in this case, we want to get the total amount just for the north region. So the range is going to have to be in column B, where all the regions are, B3 down to B16. Criteria is, specifically, we're looking for north. But we do have this third option here, the sum range, because we're going to have to look up essentially all the amounts um, that are applicable to just the north region. So I'm going to highlight the column C, 
C3 to C16, that is the total amount, and press OK. You'll see actually it's returned a value to me already. Click on OK, and just for the North region, there you see the amount. So now looking to use the sum if where you have more than one return required. We now want it for north, south, east and west. So click first of all in this example F4, insert function, it's sum if again. We're now thinking here, what is the range? Well, like the, the one before, the range is in column B. But because we have three more to find, I am going to dollar sign, I'm going to fix that range into place so that regardless whether I'm doing north, south, east or west, it will keep going back to the same range. The criteria, instead of typing in the word north, I'm going to click in cell E4, where the word north is. And then the sum range, I'm looking anywhere between C3 down to C16, but once again I am going to dollar sign that to fix that into place for when I'm copying down for the other three. You'll see it's returned the, the same value as the sheet before, so we know we're on the right lines here. Click on OK, and now we can go back, copy down, and it will return the totals for each of the regions. If we want to sum the value of invoices that are greater than a thousand, what am I going to do here? I'm now in sheet 6, click in cell E4, insert function, sum if, this time. Now, this time we don't actually need a range and a sum range because the range that we're looking at is the value, is the sum range, if that makes sense to you. So the range is highlighting cell C3 down to C16. That's all we need. The criteria we've identified is greater than invoices that are greater than a thousand. Let's total them all together. So we've actually got what we need just with the first two. Click on OK and it tells us that 8,800 is the value of the total invoices of all those that are above £1,000. So on our final sheet of uh, SUMIF, I'm on sheet number seven, and let's now think about how do we find out the total amount of sales of everything that's been on or after the 6th of April. So we're looking at dates and we're looking at total amounts. So again, I'm in E4, insert function, sum if. The range, we have to first of all go and look through all the dates, first of all. I'm not dollar signing it, we're not copying anything down. We can just move on. Criteria, so now we want greater than or equal to, and in this case it's the 6th of April and it's the year 20. And then the sum range is everything from this list in column C, but relating only to the dates on or after the 6th of April. Press OK and there it returns the value of invoices that are on or after the 7th, sorry, the 6th of April. So that's how we use the COUNTIF and the SUMIF function.